And welcome back. We're on to uh, level two of Green Rogue. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm not enthusiastic about this game. And I do remember what the game was I was talking about last video. It was Cosmic Break. So, gaff averted. Yay. Anyway. Uh. Well. Honestly. I have I have no idea about this. So apparently you keep some of the stuff that you had last game, last level. But you don't keep it all. Okay. I guess that works. Oh no, more bad camera angles. Anyway, uh, pretty much, if I remember right, this is a grenade level, apparently. Um, yeah, I know this is post cemetery. it just kind of, uh, I said, even my forehead's getting a fever off this. <laughs> but... But it looks like there's at least only five levels, so hopefully this is going to not be forever. But we'll know when we get there. Oh joy, more grenade throwing. <laughs> yeah, another great enemy placement because of the camera. Seriously. What is with 3DO on this? Did they not even bother play testing this, or did they not even bother thinking about things like this? I mean, this game would be entirely tolerable if it was using normal Army Man scale. Uh, you know, where where basically your body takes the middle of the screen, and then you can move along from there. Uh, but this, uh, uh. No, really bad. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish here. And there's a gray jeep. Or tan jeep, I'm not sure. Doesn't look tan because there's tan barrels. Looks gray. But we'll blow it up anyway. Here's the wheels. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Oh yeah, and I have max hand grenades. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a hand grenade level for sure. Uh, pretty much the max level hand grenade, what it does is it does the one single boom and it splits off into three booms. Which is really handy for clearing out mobs, or for just that annoying camera guy that's hidden right next to the tree. Hmm. Seriously, why, why, why? And now they're able to roll, but yet I'm not to. Heck, even Cabal had it where you could roll. <laughs> and that would be the closest proximity to this game as well. And no, I won't be LPing that one because that one's, I can't even, I can barely beat the first level without using, without, uh, using up all my continues. So, yeah, I'm not going there. Okay, now we got a guy who's running back and forth. Okay. I 
Just to see if it bustable any. No. Yeah, they're going to add in another element of gameplay soon, I believe, uh, which is just as annoying. But, um, yeah, like I said, uh, I r <laughs> uh, I'll complete this, but not exactly enthused. Oh, there's some mines. <laughs> yeah, there's some land mines. Only two. Wow, that's so ter it's so scary. See, she this game couldn't even get minefield right. That's kind of sad. Uh, sorry about that. You know, let's go ahead and throw a hand grenade, clear out the minefield. Yeah, honestly, if I wasn't afraid of having another one of them copyright and alliances, I would put Benny Hill on this. Because this feels so much, this game just feels entirely like a Benny Hill thing. You just want to have it sped up and hurried up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just shut up and say, yeah. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, that guy just fall over. <laughs> there, thank you. That, that's really nice screen blocking there. I think this suffers the same thing that Team Assault did, of uh, Team Assault and uh, Final Front. I think it kind of suffered the same problem of. I think they just had this deadline or whatever because this was during 3DO's uh, rise to fame with Sarge's Heroes. I think they just came up with like a, a you, you know how EA is with having to have a Madden game every year for some reason. I think that that's kind of what happened to 3DO here is they just they, they were amazed at the uh, at the fanboy love of Army Man, uh, Sergeant Heroes 1, that they just was trying to shill out as many games as they could. Instead of actually focusing on their uh, strengths, they just go, ooh, ooh, ooh. So. I mean, I might be wrong here, but I mean, I just I do remember this coming out after the Sargus Heroes line, at, when a lot of people were pop enjoyed that. This game feels more like you'd play this in an arcade, and even then, uh, yeah, I, I don't get it. But yeah, I think they just was trying to make this like an arcade port rather than a actual game game. Oh, I got a douchey death. Oh, well. And when you die, you lose some of your stuff. But it's okay, because I picked it up again. And like I said, if that was a real World War PT boat uh, out of any of those series, you would have been so dead by now. Because those things don't let up. But no, this thing lets up. And it's too easy to kill. Pew, 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 pew. 
pew pew pew. <laughs> Honestly, I have nothing to say about this game. It, it, it's really sad that I'm already burnt out on with one with one level and boot camp done. That's, that's showing. That's really bad. And I, I really, f I'm s I apologize to the viewers watching this that I am so negatively complaining on this. Um, but I, it makes me feel like I'm, I'd rather play. I want to be the guy, and uh, I, I don't really have the mentality for that. <laughs> I mean. It just it doesn't feel inspired at all. It, it's just there. Which kind of is why I don't like the gaming industry as it's became now. Um, is basically, I mean, that, that's, let's use our prime uh, cherry in the egg, uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Everybody knows how Duke Nukem Forever went as far as deadlines. In fact, that was the common joke of uh, the world will end whenever Duke Nukem Forever is finished. But eventually I did finish it. Wow, douchey death. But, uh, yeah. But, I mean, they, they rather than just sticking to whatever deadlines that some company forced them, they just rebuilt the game and rebuilt the game and rebuilt the game and rebuilt the game for how many times using the latest technology until eventually they got the dang thing out and I think that's what developers should really do is they just need to they should just focus on the game they shouldn't focus on just using the latest and greatest and they shouldn't focus on uh, the graphics or whatnot they should just focus on the game Oh yeah, now you guys can enjoy this. This is what happens when a guy comes behind you. So now, look, I have this guy chasing me. But yet, I can't shoot him because obviously he's not on the screen. See, oh, now on the screen decides to let him. And now we have a PT boat again that was taken out. But I mean, it just. It's, oh, look at how aggravating this level is already. Oh, good lord. Look at this. Well, honestly, just focus on the game and less on the gimmick. Like, I, I know Madden. They love using macros and stuff like that, so you can quickly do your quick, pa your quick pass funk, your punt fakes and stuff like that. But, um, not every game should be exactly that way. Uh, take uh, most movie the port games. Uh, most of the times, the uh, people are more focused on trying to be like the movie that they don't bother actually doing the game. They just care more about trying to shill out the movie as quickly as they can. And mission failed. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Uh, I'll, I'll probably skip level 2 because you've seen most of it already and I'm not going to bother. Uh, so, later and like I said, just... Mm, I don't like this game. But... <laughs> but... Uh, I will continue on and kicking and dragging my heels behind. But I will do it. I promise you this. So, later.